Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are taking a look at a brand new offering just dropping from Vosteed yesterday. This one here is very impressive, and I have quite a lot to say about it. What we are looking at here is none other than the Vosteed Parallel. Now, before I go any further into this review, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.04 inches, a blade length of 2.9 inches, and a blade thickness of a very thin, very slicey 79 thousandths. We have a blade material of 154 cm with a blade style of a reverse tanto, a flat grind, a handle length coming in at 4.13 inches, and a handle thickness at also a staggeringly thin 279 thousandths. As you saw in the thumbnail, uh, there is a knife that definitely can draw some very close comparisons to, and we'll talk about that here later in the video. Uh, handle material of titanium with a crossbar lock, a user of a left or right hand tip-up carry, designed by Yu Dong of Fosty Knives, and a price coming in at $129, and we have three variants of this knife to choose from. You have the all-raw, non-coated version, as you see right here. There's also an all-blacked-out version, and a black handle with satin blade option. So, a lot of good options. Let's take a look at some size comparisons and uh, see how it stacks up with some other popular EDCs from Vosteed. This one right here, the Vosteed Acorn, if you haven't handled this one, if you're not looking for a super thin knife and you just want a really good fidgety knife with excellent ergos, this is it. This is the one. The Acorn is fantastic. It was like 50 bucks. Um, and then also the Vosteed Corgi. It's another really good size comparison. Uh, just a hair longer, but as you can see, in terms of handle, uh, handle width, uh, very comparable there. Um, three excellent knives from Vosteed. And uh, some comparisons outside of Vosteed. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's see, really, you know, we'll bring this guy out. This is the uh, CGRB Bowie Pyrite, which is a pretty solid comparison. It's a little longer. Um, the best comparison, though, I have for it is really the good old Civivi Elementum. It is basically the exact same length. Obviously, ergos are a little different. The handle's thicker, so it feels different in hand. Um, but there's your size comparison right there. The Elementum and the Parallel are basically... The exact same length. So there you go. There's that. Um, let's talk about this knife because this thing here is uh, clearly, clearly Vosteed said, hey, Benchmade Narrows, hold our beer. We're going to make a knife better than the Narrows. And not only did they do that, um, yeah, they did it times three in my opinion. Um, there's so many things about this knife that just clearly surpass the Narrows. And I am making that call. I'm, I'm making that comparison because as far as I'm concerned, this is clearly, clearly designed to compete against the Narrows, which to be honest, they didn't really have to do much. All they had to do was make the knife affordable. Um, and they did, you know, it's 129 bucks. So $129 for 154 CM and titanium, you know, is it, it's obviously not like deal of the century, but I think overall it's fair. Not going to say it's a, one of the best value knives of the year, but it's fair. I'm not mad about it. I was mad about the Benchmade Arrows. Um, this one, I'm not. I really like this knife. The blade is fantastic. So slicey, so thin. You know, to get an idea of the thickness here, I got the acorn back out. And here, let's just compare. Yeah, the acorn. What can we, there we go. Perfect. Um, that is 120 thousandths. That is basically 80 thousandths. Um, so you can see a noticeable difference in blade thickness there, a much thinner blade on the parallel, and the behind the edge reading on this is 13 thousandths, which ranks up there as one of the thinnest production blades I've ever handled. I think the thinnest I've ever handled was 11 thousandths. Actually, there may have been a Jack Wolf knife that was up there under 10 uh, but in terms of budget knives, let's just stick in the budget realm of things, which really this isn't budget. It's technically above budget, but below the the super high end stuff, like I consider Jack Wolf knife very high end. This is more, you know, mid-level in terms of cost. One of the best edges I've come across uh, in that price range. 
it's just insane at 13 thousandths. You have a 13 thousandths behind the edge. You have 80 thousandths thick blade stock. This is an incredibly sli slicey little knife and will be great for EDC. And it's a reverse Tonto. I've said it before and, I, and I'll stick to it because I still don't think there's enough. There's not enough reverse Tontos out on the market. This is just a beautiful blade. And I also think it pairs extremely well with the handle of this knife. Uh, it just, yeah, it goes together very, very well. Looks very complete. Doesn't look like a design where there's something missing here and there. It's got the nice jimping. It's got the nice tip up there um, and just an incredibly slicey blade. Now, the handle is really, some would argue, the star of the show here because it is so thin and it's so solid. Um, they did an amazing job here. So the backspacer, the back, I should, it's worth noting here, the backspacer and the thumb studs are both aluminum on this guy, um, which helps with the weight just a little. 2.2 um, .2 ounces, I will say, or 2.29 ounces is what they have it listed at. It feels lighter than that to me. Um, obviously it's not, I, it is 2.29 ounces, but, uh, it, it just feels extremely light. It's going to be great in the pocket. It's an incredible little office carry with that deep wire clip. Um, it is just great in terms of any type of daily carry you would need a knife for. Um, and again, the thinness, the thinness is something that some people are going to love. And I think some people may not like that much. It's really going to come down to personal preference, but in terms of feel in the hand and overall, you know, the how comfortable it is. I think it feels pretty good. I mean, it has that gap there that works really well for me to where I kind of feel like I'm choking up a little here. And this is thin enough to where it actually feels pretty good in the crease of my index finger there. I'm not saying it's like, you know, like it's not like, so the acorn, obviously, the acorn is like hand hugging. I wouldn't say this is like hand hugging good ergos, but for what it is, for a very thin, compact knife, it does feel rather good in the hand. So I don't have any real complaints there. Um, you could also choke back a little. If I choke back, I start to feel like the end of my hand is getting off the handle. So I do prefer this grip, but if you have a little more narrow hands, uh, you could probably choke back and this would feel really good for some people. Um, the one thing I will say about this knife, and I do, I love pretty much everything about this knife. I personally would have loved to see a slightly bigger version of this. Um, you know, right now with the blade length at 2.9, maybe like a, probably like a 3.25 inch blade would extend the handle enough for me to where it would feel considerably better. It would feel a little more like my size of knife. But, you know, as I, as I sit here and talk about it, it's still something that I would easily EDC. And I have EDC'd it for a few days now uh, because, like I said, I, I, I work in an office setting. It's great in the office setting, very discreet. Um, and at the same time, it's nothing over the hill, nothing crazy. Uh, it's a rather casual carry. Nice and clean, really nice lines, just good, good looking, and the nice little accent pops. It's just a really, really nice knife. Overall, with it, it has a really good build quality. The action on this is extremely good. Now, I will say, I just said it had great action, and I do think it has great action, but there's been one or two times, and it's probably not going to happen in this video now, but there's been a couple times where uh, something got a little hung up, and I don't know if that was maybe me, because, you know, it could be something to where I have a finger on the crossbar lock that makes it hard or something. I haven't really, like I said, it's only happened twice, and it hasn't, it's not something to where I don't think it's a defect, but it's just weird. It's like the blade got caught. Um, but I think that's kind of, yeah, right there. And then it comes right out. So I think that's just me. It, it's got to be just me because, as you saw, it just easily came out. The trick with this knife, I think, is making sure when you're coming, when you're kicking the blade out, that you go out at an angle. Um, with thumb stud knives, I have a tendency to sometimes try and push straight up. And when you push straight up, I think that's what's doing it actually. Now, as I think about it and talk, talk it out loud, um, I'm just going too straight up. You got to go out with the blade and that will kick the blade out pretty easily. So I think some of it may have to do with the thinness of the handle. Sometimes the thinness of the handle can just throw off things a little because a lot of times you're just, let's be real, we're not used to handling a knife this thin. Uh, it does take a little getting used to but it still works and it carries extremely well in the pocket. I shouldn't, I don't even need to say how well it carries in the pocket. I mean, look at this deep carry wire clip. Um, you're gonna have just a, just a very, very small little smidgen of the knife sticking out of the top of the pocket. No issue there for me. Um, this is a great little knife for 129 bucks. It's different. Um, it is, it, it, it is competition to the narrows and really the only competition out there in my opinion 
uh, especially when you consider materials. I mean, yes, I do think the Narrows does have a little premium blade steel. I can't remember what it is. It might be Magnica. I can't remember. But you're still talking a titanium handle on both of them. Um, you have a nicer deep carry clip on the parallel compared to um, compared to the Narrows. And in my opinion, a much better looking knife. The only thing I like about the Narrows more than the parallel is the size. The Narrows is a bigger knife. I do prefer that bigger size. But everything else, everything else, the, the parallel wins in. Um, it's a fantastic offering from Vostid. Definitely one I would recommend checking out if you're looking for something small and discreet, nice little office carry. Um, and if you just like thin knives, you know, if you want something that's not going to feel in the pocket at all, you're going to put this in the pocket and there's going to be like nothing. You're not going to feel it at all. Um, really, really cool little knife from Vostid. I would love to see a bigger version. Uh, hopefully that is coming, but as it sits right now, um, the Parallel is a fantastic little offering and one to where if you thought the Narrows was cool and you wanted to check it out, but you just didn't want to drop a boatload of money, this is it. This is, the, this is it right here. This is a fantastic option, a great knife. The Vosti Parallel guys, let me know what you think of this. Really, guys, hope, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.